Hello everyone, welcome to the Mission Channel 33. I'm here to help solve missing women shooting in mean cases. I ain't here to break the code that I see any. I'm here to see where their bodies are located, if they know. And I'm also here to see if they are alive, deceased, body suited, change your efficacy, or misidentity. Your yeah, eye already should know who's involved, so let's begin. This was sent to me today, y'all. Okay? Um, this, this is titled, Prosecutors, Baby Jacobs body found in sealed bucket set beside trash can okay so yes this is another instance this is a newborn baby actually that these fake doctors fake nurses are stealing from the hospital okay this this place was um locked okay we need i mean we seen it it was locked okay they were look look what i'm hearing it was locked okay so they didn't get our message the government letter okay so this will happen this young lady she had her baby she said yesterday and same stuff that happened with the other women i was telling y'all about happened to her okay and it is true we already found the bucket and yes okay um you know they drained the baby okay they you know but the baby the and it's just blood okay and also um i often say something else but i forgot okay i'm gonna read it maybe it's gonna come back to me okay <clears throat> oh yeah okay why she, okay she want to know why the baby look you know it's still like a newborn but it don't because when they got the baby, you know, and they play with the baby, okay? They, like, touch it private every day, something like that, and it it can make them look like that, okay? Police found three-month-old Jacob Moniz's body sealed inside a bucket filled with liquid laundry detergent that was set next to the trash can in the apartment's kitchen. Food, so they probably got another part of him. According to prosecutors, Probel caused affidavit. Jacob's mother was watching a church service on TV Saturday morning with Jacob when Alicia Munoz, the boy's father, came into the room and took their son. According to prosecutors, not they, not his real mom, okay? I'm hearing, I'm hearing from. A short time later, she heard the apartment door close, then about 30 minutes after that, Elicia Monus came back into the room with a tire iron or winch and started hitting her, police said. Oh yeah, another thing. Y'all talking the woman, okay? She's a black woman, okay? <clears throat> um, African-American woman, okay? So this actually happened two years ago, okay? Um, the reason why... I was telling you about the usher sounds, okay? I talked to the mother today. She said she did get a 5D usher sound. And she kept crying because she kept losing the baby. That was her doctor. That was her gynecologist. And her gynecologist kept telling her, oh, you ain't doing something right. That's because she keep getting the baby out of her, y'all. Okay? So when she finally did get pregnant, you know, the baby stayed this time, okay? And then that's when the, the this woman, her right here, this this thing, this person, in this in this in this man, this man, done got her. Okay, I was doing finding videos, I found her. Okay, and it got the same baby name under her, but this happened two years ago. Okay, so that's probably why they also mean when they got the extra S on his name. Jake, okay. A short time later, she heard the apartment door close. Then about 30 minutes after that, Elisa Munoz came back into the room with a tire iron or a wrench and started hitting her, police said. Elisa Munoz left the apartment in the 2700 block of less than 10 courts. I mean, it's not real love, but yes, yes. In her mind, in that woman, in that person's mind, yes, okay? But not in what we think love is, okay? So yeah, she did go a bum with the baby, okay? After them two years, okay. In Akon Acres, after attacking his wife, and she drove her to the hospital where she was treated for her injuries, including a skull fracture and cuts, according to prosecutors. They said the baby was three months old. Jacob Moss was last seen Saturday at noon, and is believed to be in extreme danger. I'm hearing yes. 
the mother said yes, it was the time she had the baby too. Had him. Okay. One neighbor saw a sus mother's leaving the south side apartment in a hood just before noon. I did see the guy come outside the house when I was going back to work. A neighbor said, it's made in the time at about 11.52 a.m. Saturday. I just saw the man come outside and just rush like he left in a hurry. The mother saying yes, okay? This is the same. They saying it's an apartment building. But I also heard it could be the hospital. I'm hearing yes. Officials initially searched the apartment but didn't find Jacob, according to prosecutors. They did find blood splatter and other evidence of the assault. Okay. She said when she was having a baby. Okay. Okay, I will. Police issued a silver alert for Jacob. Yes, yeah, some, yeah. Yeah, because, um, that happened to me too. A whole bunch of blood was on my bed too. Because the mother, mother was telling me when she had the baby, she had a lot of blood coming out of her. Um, that, yeah, like I said, that show. So she was doing that. She was getting your baby out of you while you kept losing him she kept getting him out and the baby probably was a zombie not like that though but when you birthed the baby it was a human but she in her mind thought oh zombie because that would happen to me because i had I only I only have a lot of blood when something like that happens okay police um and, and other evidence of the assault <clears throat> after the fact i'm hearing Police issued a silver alert for Jacob on Saturday afternoon, but it wasn't until about 4.55 a.m. Sunday that an officer opened the orange bucket of lunch detergent, revealing Jacob's body, according to prosecutors. Yes, I do. Because orange represents the Black Panthers as well, okay? Hoover, okay? Black Panthers. In the Napoleon's police located Issa's Munnus on the city's north side. Yes, the dude, he did. He was the janitor as well. I heard it from the, both the parents. Northeast side and detain him in connection with his wife's battery. Lafayette, that's his wife. Police then drove to Indy and picked up Moninus. Who? In statement to police, Esther Moninus admitted to the assault on his wife, noting he hoped she died from her injuries, but he claimed he did not know where his son was according to the Pobel cause affidavit. Okay, this the police at the apartment, okay? So he could be, they could be hiding in that apartment. Oh, that apartment looks familiar, okay? So they could be down here somewhere. Money and his wife said they had been married about 11 months and that he was angry with her since August the 5th. They have not spoken to each other through the week, according to prosecutors. Esther's Monus appeared in court Monday afternoon for hearings about possible charges and allegations <coughs> that he severely battled his wife, as well as possible charges alleging he killed his three-month-old son, Jacob. Oh, yeah. I also found a Bible story about this, okay? When I was looking this up, it just popped up. So she's a she Isaria in the Bible. And this is Jacob, okay? One of them. But, like, they're multiple people that, like, play these characters in the Bible. This is her. Prosecutors received a 72-hour extension of file formal charges, okay? And it will be filed, okay? You like the hell with this case? Yes, I am. You like to hear with this case, I can. I don't do it for the fame of the money. I do it because it's what I love to do. And to the real families of these victims, corporate America will set y'all up. Thank y'all. Peace and be safe.